going on today guys and welcome back to another episode of midnight club la remix uh there is nothing much to explain um in the previous episode or in the previous episode i was talking about you know uh about midnight club being too being hard and then uh freak. you know sometimes when you like I, like i said when you ever get stuff you lost it and then I was talking about, you know, my age uh, going up so fast. You may miss a few things you don't uh, seem to see, you know, nowadays. That's the one thing that I was talking about. Uh, but in this episode, I went ahead and... Uh, What's up? Hey, it's the East Coast guy. You're doing good. I've heard of some racing going down in the industrial area. If you're interested. If it's racing, I'm interested. Well, the dude you want to find is called Rodney. Check him and his crew out. Thanks, Annie. Don't worry, gonna get another phone call from her because, um, what was I talking about? Uh, what was I talking about previously? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, my age is going up instead. Going up. See what I mean when I lose stuff and I don't know what I was talking about? I lose it. I don't know why I do that. It's so stupid. I don't know why I even did that in the first place. Buck, where are you? Sounds like a children's playground. Yeah, you need to remember where you are, punk. Start showing some respect. Take it easy. <laughs> I'm only messing with you. If you was funny, I wouldn't mind. <sighs> Listen, that's a Hills tournament starting up. When you ready to get serious. Sweet, I'm on it. What do I need to do? Get to Mulholland as soon as you can. Just west of the Hollywood lookout. Uh, wait, as you know, I was not gonna do uh, that turn. Yeah, I need to do some deliveries first. And I really thought we we're gonna get another phone call from Annie, but I don't think we are. I don't think we are. I think we might get that after the beach cleanup, I think. Damn, why can I not remember what I said? Oh, yeah. Um, usually, like I said, when I was like driving the. Um, losing it and I don't know what I said again it's like it's in your head but you just don't want to remember you need to know what you said okay so when I was just like when I just like gosh. see what I mean it's in there it's in my head but it's like locked it's like something in my head just makes it locked and you, you're not gonna remember it. it's like it's like it's soft locked in there and it's not gonna let me remember to what I just said it's not going to allow me. Every time that happens. Even time like anytime I do that to myself, I don't know why. I just don't know why I do it. Okay, I think I remember. As I already finished the race with uh those guys, the time trial and the one guy that I need to took I need to, you know, take care of. Um I finally managed to actually uh do the open races with this thing here. Because Hi, Victor. How was school? You've been doing a lot of talking. How about doing some racing? Okay, Victor's back again. Let's go and handle Victor now. I was gonna do the beast cleanup, but nope, we're gonna do. Oops, hold up. Uh, turn it off and boom. Come on, no. I have the thing off. off right now. I don't have it on. It's not supposed to act like that. Jeez. It's like anytime I'm trying to like play the game, the game just lags for no reason. That's what I hate about lag, when I can't even hear the freaking game. It sucks and it's getting on my last nerves. Okay, ouch. Okay, I know how to activate aggro, I know. Jeez, I'm not that stupid. I don't know how freaking war aggro zone works and the thing is um like i said after i played like uh years ago i think back in it wasn't 20 you know 2013 and 2012 i think it was 2011 um that scared the mess out of me when i was just when I didn't mean uh, accidentally activated by a uh, mistake. That was my fault. Okay, what I was trying to say is, um, usually I didn't know about the special ability, but there was one ability that I didn't know actually existed, and that was EMP. 
which I had no idea that was a thing in the you know, 360 PS3 version of it. I had no idea that was a thing until I did until now. And I was like, yo, why the hell do I have EMP? That was not supposed to be in the main game. But I guess they add that as like a, like a feature, I guess, for it to work out, maybe? I mean, that, that, that's how they always add new features. They add something new to it, it makes it feel like it's a newer, new way to express your, uh, your way to drive around in the world. And then it's how it does it. Or, that's how it does, I think. Or how anything does it, does at this point. Which makes no sense. Like, absolutely no sense to why. This is like... Sometimes when you knew that some things are going to come to the game and know that some things are not, there's like no pause away. But uh, I think for the previous episode, I think I remember what I was actually talking about. The Midnight Club Iceberg, where there's like a bunch of stuff that I didn't know even know existed or even didn't know I should have done in the first place. Um, there's a lot of things that I already, that I should have known or didn't know. Um, see, man, anytime I try to remember, it's like it's like getting stuck inside there. It's like it's like deep inside you can't remember it. You got to know what it was you're saying. You get them. Okay, you lucky, you lucky, you lucky, you lucky, you lucky, you lucky, you lucky. You, lucky. you got that easy, but you're lucky. I'll get you next time. Oh gosh, out. Turn, 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 turn. I thought you said you could drive. Uh, indeed I can because I'm gonna catch up to this guy in a minute. Once I can. Like, right about here, so get wrecked. Stay out of my lane. Okay, so the minute I come ice curve. Curve. I don't know what I just said. Ice curve. Why did I say that? That sounds weird. That legit sounds weird. I don't know why I even said it weird and awkwardly like that. Makes no sense why I said it's something. Ah. You got lucky, way. You will never happen again. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I'll believe it when I see it. I believe it when I see it. I, I believe it when I will see it. But not at this rate. Who was that in my hand? My left ear. Okay. So, the Midnight Club Iceberg. Iceberg. Gosh, why am I saying it so weirdly? Dang, like, stop saying things so weirdly. It's the one thing I'm just blur like blurring out weird stuff that I'm saying right now that doesn't even make sense. Just even... I shouldn't even say nothing else because I can't even, like, say it what I was going to say because I'm, like, getting lost. I need to stop doing that. Okay, so. The Midnight Club Iceberg. As I think I already know the guy's name was because part of the Easter egg where the voice actor's name was Matthew. And uh, I guess that's how that works. Maybe. But I think like the, the guy who actually made that as a little bit of a hint or a little bit of an Easter egg hint that he actually wanted his name to be in that, you know, in that, that series or and, uh, oh gosh, there's a lot of things that I, I missed out from the freaking Midnight Club Iceberg, which I think I might have to watch again. Like, legit, I had to watch the, the, the Midnight Club Iceberg again and make sure I was listening, paying attention, and knowing to what I was actually going to say. Jeez, why do I keep losing stuff like that? I always lose it, and then sometimes you don't know what you just... I don't know what you, what you just said. You have no idea why. Like, legit, you have no idea why you had it. And sometimes, boom, you lose it. If out of your veracity or, or out of anything that you say, you just tend to lose it. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. You know, I'm not going to take the freaking... I'm not taking this car high so you under see. I'm gonna be taking something more of my style. Like legit more of my style. Which is why I'm taking 
to either be the DL6 or or GT. Or GT, we're taking it. And yeah, I actually did went on screen and actually uh, went ahead and got the aggro uh, special ability for the uh, Christ of the to see because I had to. Not, I was not going to waste my time, you know, going through all the races again and again and again and just getting it, uh, you know, the more difficult way. I was not going to do that, so I decided to do that. I decided to do the uh, uh, off-screen more easier for me to do it because I'm not going to. I'm not going to waste my time doing. It. I'm not going to do it. All right, let's make this easy peasy this time. Seems I have more of an OP car now, and these guys shouldn't even keep up with me since my car is faster than theirs. Yeah, see, like, legit, they can't keep up. It's like they're trying, but they can't. Yep. They're all the way in the back. And like I said, I can't, like, get money easier by doing it off screen because it's not easy. Shoot. Legit, it's not easy. I have to, like,. I had to like hold on to that cash just for a little while until I get something that's more expensive for me to, to buy. Oh, oh, shut up! People just love to talk. It's all they love to do. They love to talk and just try to make my life more difficult and way more impossible for me to do. Well, good luck trying because it didn't work. I don't know how to freaking drive. It's just that. Freaking traffic vehicles getting in the way most of my time. And that was more of an easier way because I have to drive an exotic. Games that they weren't always easy, like I did with Midnight Club 2. And that got me thinking, just saying, that got me thinking, what if I actually did it again, but this time only completing the hard difficulty in the Los Angeles area map first? And then getting to uh, the Paris map second, and then doing um, and then doing I'm trying to think, and then doing the Tokyo map third. I know that's going to be impossible for me to do. Like legit, it's going to be legit impossible for me to do. So yeah. That legit got me thinking for quite a while, like a little, like quite a while for me to do. So yeah, I might do it maybe again. Well, I guess need to do it. <coughs> my sneeze, freaking, that sneeze, oh, my sneeze freaking distracted me. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if it's allergies or something else. I'm not even gonna talk about it. But yeah. I might do Midnight Club just one last time, and then I'm not gonna do it again. But this time, I'm using a Chica to make it more of a impossible way for me to beat it. Yeah, because I'm gonna do the Los Angeles map first. The Paris map is gonna be way impossible for me to do. Because I might have to use Savior Savio's um Selene S7, which I already know that some cars are already based off real ones. It's not that hard for me to even remember. At the first car that starts off, you get a Ford Escort. And then the second, you get a Civic. And then the other one, you get like a Jetta. The other one, uh, you get like an Integra or Honda because they're both the same thing. And then um, you get a Honda S2000 GTO, another one but it's like a turbo version of it. And then you get RX-7 and a, a Viper GTSR, which I already, already know about. Not that much. All right. This time, this should be really easy to do since these guys are going to be uh, gonna be bothering me for no reason, which I already know they are. But like I said, I have an exotic, this should be easier, and I shouldn't get my butt handed to me for most of this race. Like, like it did off screen, because 
on screen. Sorry, I had the heat gun. I was gonna pour. It's still disgusting. I don't know why I even did that on camera or that by audio. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so yeah, I already know the cars are based off that, as I was like completely distracted. I already know they're catching up, but they're not going to be on me for long because I'm already starting to lose them. Like, again. Yeah, try to keep up with me now. Oh, dumbasses. Y'all not going to be seeing me anytime soon. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, Ouch. Man, hope that guy's still alive. Oh, yeah. Hope he's still alive. Hey, you better know you better be open for Hoping that you were losing this race in the tournament because I just won. You're wrecked. I win this race, not you. Ah, there's always the four, fourth one. I thought that like the third would be would be that, but I think the. I'm not gonna say nothing else. Just shut up. Let's just get through this. Well, this is easy, man. but they're gonna not just the second I do. So yeah. Nice try, losers. But yeah, y'all can't keep up because I have a fat faster card than you. Ooh, shoot. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I, I saw y'all. Y'all try to keep up, but y'all can't. I have the fastest car. car. Y'all can't do nothing about it. Just try to keep up. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Y'all can't. Like I said, from... Uh, the comparison to Midnight Club 2 and to LA Remix, there is, uh, there is like the most slightest difference that I still didn't know that were not part of it. Like, I legit thought that it would be the same, but apparently it's not. Like, legit, it's not. If you did not know some things were, like, were different from Midnight Club 2 and from LA Remix, I'll probably link the thing for it in the description down below. If you didn't know what was there or not there, because with Midnight Club 2 is more of the base uh, map that stayed original, but with the Midnight Club LA Remix map, there were there was more things that were added, like uh like from this area right here, you have a uh, shortcut than another one right here, and uh, I don't think that one was there. I think I don't think that. I might have to see that when I, uh, uh, when I might be off screen. Oh, uh, you know, off the game. Because I don't think, you know, that area was there, that area was there, because more like, uh, I can't remember, but I think it was more like an apartment, uh, before it was changed to the Hollywood Studios. And with that, I already won. Easy peasy with no problem. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the car that I ha had previously because I was just getting my butt handed to me for no freaking reason. So yeah, let me go ahead and go back uh, to the Chrysler 300C. Because that was like more the car that I should have used for most of the race, but I knew I was gonna get my butt handed to me if they kept getting near, near me. I legit would have known. I legit would have known they would come right up to me. They kept on bothering. I might keep. I might uh, keep going just for a little while, or if Andy calls me, or anyone calls me. At this point. That's also because if I don't get to the beat screen up, I really think someone's gonna call me in about a few seconds. No one. Okay, let me just check. Uh, yep, I did the beat screen up. All right, that's fine. Okay, thing because I thought for some reason someone was gonna call, but I don't think no one is. It's a good thing, me too. I really. You got about as much game as the water boy on the junior high B team. Sounds like you're dredging up some painful childhood memories there, Book. Since when did Book be in? Okay, I guess Book is in the race, but I don't see him in his car. Or any car he has. You see what I mean about these stupid racers? They just like. 
The lure bending does not make no sense to why they keep up. Like, they stick with me for like, just for a little bit of time and then boom, they just keep up. For no reason. Out! Dumbass butt! Okay, that was completely my fault. These like these are not gonna be easy. They're legit, they're not. Can this race like not be tough on me this time? Like, can it legit not? I'm trying to get through it, but sometimes these guys can be such assholes and just be what they want to be. That's what's causing to be worse. And I might bring back, you know, um, you know, uh, weekly random gameplays, I think. I might do something like that because I was going to do, uh, you know, another one from another game that I didn't even know existed. Or it was, oh man, I forgot what the game was. And I'll probably might have it up uh, probably sooner or later. If I still have time. Because I might be, you know, a little bit off again and then back like, straight to it. Probably tomorrow or next week, maybe. If I'm not ever busy. Because I ever like, want to do something, I might as well just do it and get out the way. You know, for a to get a little more hostile around most of the time. But, uh, that's what you're gonna do, because YouTube is like a living for me. Legit it is. Jeez. It's always Ava that catches, like, catches out to me. I really do hate Ava. Okay, there's Danny, but we're... Book was never... So you won. They say you should try everything once. I didn't even see Book's name in there. He wasn't even in the... I did not mean to click that. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. I meant to click next race. Instead of like, you, you know, just like talking about where a book was, I should have just clicked next race and then there. It would have been on to the ne next one. Instead, that was just my freaking misclicks. No reason. But yeah, the comparison to Midnight Clip 2 in LA Remix. That is something that I didn't know that were there or not there. Talking to yourself is the first sign of madness, book. Okay. And I mean Yeah, like. I have no idea what I was gonna say, but like I said, the comparison to the map to LA remakes and then I cut two is very different. That's that I still didn't know there were it like it was like a slight, like the slightest difference, but I still did not know. It's a lot thing. It's a good thing that I still know now that I know some things weren't there in the first place. I'm glad I did now. Okay. Ow! Uh, oh, oh, oh! Don't you dare! I knew you were gonna flip. I knew you were. I need some uh, power ups. He's out, 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 out. Go, go, go. He's catching up, he's catching up, he's catching up. Ugh, come on, turn, you freaking. Hey, at least you turned up. Oh, at least I turned up. That's what you're, you're trying to get to. Okay. Can this phone not lag up for some reason? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I don't even have the freaking thing on. It's doing that. How am I have to end this video here? Because it's... This is going to keep on lagging for no freaking reason. Like, can it stop? Jeez. You really do not get what's going on with this thing. I hate the lag system. It is super annoying. But, I came right on top again. <sighs> I think I might have to end this video right here, because so I... They say you should try everything once. Yeah, thanks for telling me, boy. Thanks for telling me. I might do the beats cleanup for another episode, because... 
I don't really think this day is going to be going good for me. I really thought for what I was saying, but not in this moment. Not at this rate. Not even. Not even. Jeez, like some, like some games can be easy, but sometimes when it gets way impossible, you have no idea what you're going to expect. Like what can you expect? Nothing? This, this game sure doesn't. Ugh. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Midnight Club LA Remix, if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave your comments as always. Until next time, this is your boy, the Ghost Rider S54 here, signing out. See y'all in the next one. Peace.